Salutations, Barnes. My name is Patatronic. Alright, uh, we already heard that in the last episode. So, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. In the last episode, we played as Atreus, and we went to Midgard, and we talked to Jormungandr and Freya. So, now we are going to Alfheim, so this is going to be fun. Hey, Sindri, what's up? Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Well, I'm sure he had no problem with it. Um, yeah, there's probably nothing I can upgrade, so... No point. Actually, let me see. Do I have... Ooh. Melee attacks against an enemy afflicted with Sonic deal greatly. Okay. Okay, I have one of those. Um, sure. Might as well upgrade that. There you go. Alright. We are good to go. Let's go. Atreus, come on. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Alright, it's gonna take me a little bit, kinda, to get used to the controls, since it's been a week or so since I last played. Excuse me, sir? Yells. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. Okay. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. You have no idea what is happening. <laughs> this must be the squirrel that tames the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic exploration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! <laughs> I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... Ooh. Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. <laughs> All right, Ratatosker. What you got for me? So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Paths split like branches of the Yggdrasil. Alfheim awaits with a long and difficult journey. The training grounds in Niflheim hold secret rewards. Svartalfheim may hold unfinished business. Choose carefully. Um. Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. No, I gotta wait. Lusfelheim rum currently locked. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. So that's continuing the mission. Realm available to travel to. Uh, I guess we'll go to Niflheim first here. Radatosker's realm seed leads to Niflheim training arena. Travel here to, for a place to practice and improve. Uh, I guess. Oh. If we're not going to Alfheim yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? 
thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. All right. In we go. See what Niflheim holds for us. The heck's that sound? Oh, Brock. Okay. The Raven Tree. Hey, Brock. Sure, I'm open. I don't need anything from you, though. Um. All right, what we got in the tree then? Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time. So it would seem. I never actually came to this originally. Oh. What do you think that means? I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. Can I open all of these? Girdle of Raven Tears. Sorry. Well, it's definitely better than what I have. All right. Nine of twelve. I can't read them. They seem to like us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. Okay, so I just need how many more for this guy? Three more. Kind of spooky sounding. And there's none in this area, eh? Oh, no, there is. Eyes of Odin. Oh, no, the eyes of... Oh, no, that's just the quest. Never mind. All right, so... We got that one chest. What's over here? There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. Really? Draugr training, the sparring arena allows you to test and hone your skills in combat. In the arena, you have infinite health and accelerated cooldowns. Note there's no XP. Aw. Grim training. All right, let's see about Draugr here. Let's test this out. Okay. So yeah, that's all that is, is just training. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I've n I never came to this area 
Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. Yeah, I've, uh... Yeah, I've never been here before to the Raven Tree. That's actually pretty, uh... Pretty nifty, to be honest with you. Well, either way, let's, I suppose, go to Alfheim now. Sadly. As fun as these elves are gonna be. Alright, rum currently locked. Oh, okay, I guess we gotta go back. Mimir, I know this sounds weird, but... Can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul. And every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. Aww. Alright. Ah, there you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Would you? Alright, what you want? Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Sim there. Ah, you figured it out. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? Maybe. I have a question. Splendid. I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. Notice these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neetho. Neetho? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neetho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neetho is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. <laughs> Journey forth in health and safety, my friends. Alright, sounds groovy. Uh, anything new in the Codex? I don't think so. Nothing new we have to read up on. No, I think we're good. All right, Tyr. Tyr, do you know Ratatosker? Of course. We were just catching up in your absence. Of the squirrels I've conversed with, he's easily the most dapper. Is he now? Here we go. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. That it's hell, and these elves suck. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? Alright. Groa's secret started. Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Reach Grower Shrine atop the temple. What well, was this first? Can't just Talking miss this. History. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. Um. Okay. Graffiti in dark elf territory next to a statue of their ancestors. The elves before the division of light and dark. The message being. What exactly? And for who? Either the elves have seen the statue and ignored it. Statue? St statue and ignored it, or they're more concerned with mastery over the light. 
So what's our stuff here? Nornir chest, legendary chest, lore artifacts, and one raven. Whoa. All right, well, let's, uh... I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. Let's keep our, our eye out for stuff. That could be very useful. Ooh. How does one get in there? Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. More lore. This should actually be the second one, Living eh? Desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. The Living Desert, the Jewel of Alfheim, is our most sacred and fertile desert, teeming with an unequal diversity of life from the mag majestic <laughs> and their dual cat, dual set sauna sands to the wide array of turtles and lizards found in the Jarta and the abundant herds of gazelle and Ibix roaming the shifting dunes. All creatures of the desert are given breath by the grace of the light. Take a moment to witness the grandeur and reflect. Keep well, they realm. The song of the sands, he called it. Gone now. Another victim of war. You thinking about the desert of lost souls there, Kratos? The sirens? Hello? What do we got in here? Slag deposits. Nice. Alright, uh, boop, 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 okay, I think we're good down here. Let's head on up. So that should be... Weird. Excuse me? You're jumping while I gotta crawl through Hold stuff? On. Atreus. I hear something out there. Something big. In pain. And what might that be? All right, we gotta go that way. So, Ooh. what do you hear? A Nornir chest. Like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the dark elves get on best they can. <clears throat> mm, there's another one. And now we're looking for just one more. Where could it be? Find out next time in the next episode. Is it up here, maybe? That's where I came from. That's where I'm going. No, I don't think it'd be too far away. Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. A brazier. There, there is. You could see one. Is it up there? <laughs> the heck is that? Weird. But okay. All right. Well, maybe I gotta hit it from a different angle, like you said there, from above. Ah. Gross shrine is at the top. There you go. Bye, frost eyes. Is everything okay? I old friend. Just looting no near chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah. Ah, one of three. Yes, loot is good. It helps us. Until you decide to do a challenge where you don't upgrade anything on the hardest difficulty, and then you're just asking to have no mental awareness and be sent to an insane asylum. Returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? <gasps> I know. I see Raven. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I can track them now. Cool. Um, that's only, th yeah, that's the only one here. So I could track the ravens now, can I? Can you, can I just do that? What would that be under anyways? The path, no favors? Oh yeah. Okay. All right, I'm waiting for a fight here. At least everything's full. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. What, bounce stuff back? Well, that was a waste for grabbing that. Well, that's where we're going, so it's over here. Nothing, okay. What's he pointing at? Strange Strange's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freer of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. All right. Don't need any of that. Let's keep these blades of chaos out. Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. What? What's the oh no for? That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. <laughs> Uh. We're the ones who freed the light. Get hit, Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. He's naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Well, I'm sorry, but uh, when I have to kill to progress, I have no choice. So, take it or leave it, Tyr, you wimp. Some god of war you are. I wish Uncle Ares was here. Or actually, no, sorry, it'd be Brother Ares. My bad. Right? My brain's been focusing so much on Norse right now, I can't think. Yeah, Ares is Zeus's son. I, uh, just yell at me in the comments, real fleet. Feel free to yell. made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. Feel free to yell at me. A charm to walk. Sorry. Uh, dream charm. This charm is meant to absorb nightmares. The principle be 
behind such magic is not a local one, but a theory picked up by Tyr from the Western lands. The premise is a simple one. Nightmares seek us in the dark, hoping to crawl into our minds and corrupt them from within. Charms such as this are meant to distract and trap the nightmares, tangling them up in the charms' threads until sunrise can incinerate the devious bastards. Nightmares, in this case, flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Yeah, I can't do anything with this one yet. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. Nope. Yeah, we definitely have to come back here. Because of uh, that right there. It's fine with me. Fine with doing backtracking. It's so tall. It came in from the top of this time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate. Built to promote cooperation between the elves, but it looks like it's been sealed for some time. What's over there? How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. Hold up, what's this? Or is that where it just was? <gasps> oh, I know that's behind there. Hmm, okay. Alright, let's grab a wheel. Sorry, I like checking stuff. Alright. I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father. Now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, and here, you keep pushing forward. Well, Fine look, work, Atreus. Yeah, look at you go. Shall we? I suppose we shall. <gasps> What's this Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Well, with that being said, I'm actually going to end it here. And then in the next episode, we can focus on the Light Temple, is what it was called, right? Some of that... Some, 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 some. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode of God of War Ragnarok. I really hope you're enjoying this series, and I shall see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye, everyone.